Hi, this is Paul from Wave5Trade.com and this is my daily stocks signals video for Tuesday the 17th of July where I just go through one of the potential trades from our stock scanner membership service. Uh, very briefly in our members area here on the website, our members get the opportunity to download spreadsheets every day for potential long and short fifth wave trades on the weekly, daily and 60 minute time frames. The fifth wave is the highest probability move in a trend, therefore really good trade setups. Now I want to look at longs here and I just want to talk a little bit about how we can use this signal service to start building your watch list. And I'm going to use an example of Shaq today on the daily time frame. Now, as you can see, every day we have the downloadable spreadsheets for potential, this is potential longs on uh, long fifth wave trades. Now, I've downloaded the spreadsheets for the 13th and the 16th. Now, on the 17th, Shaq does not appear because we've already moved ready for the entry. And I want to go through that on the charts in a minute. So I just want to show you the 13th and the 16th spreadsheets to here. So on the 13th, you can see on the daily time frame, <clears throat> down here on Shaq we have the signal to go, to go long on the 13th then again on the 16th we can see Shaq appears okay and then today on the 17th it isn't there but you've got to build your watch list with these uh, potential trades every day as we as we did put these spreadsheets out you've got to start putting these potential trades on because when they start to move over a certain direction here yesterday really strong day for Shaq you see up here on the right I'll zoom in in a little minute um, that goes off our criteria for the filter for the scanner membership um, but it's still a good trade it's been on there a couple of days it's moved away from that way four, and there's an entry which we're going to talk about now before that uh, let's just go through uh, where to isolate the wave count for those members that have got our Elliott wave indicator suite this is the ninja trader nt8 version from wave5trade.com uh, there's also available for multi charts trade station and think or swim platforms the our Elliott wave indicator suite so this one's a little bit more difficult but it's a good example we can see here where the we have drawn this rectangle we've got a really strong support and resistance level here this is not really a trend okay this is a correction this is the trend where we start to move up with two big green days here then we gap up and then we continue that move up and then we've pulled back against there so when we're isolating the start of this wave count we need to be just before this uh, breaks out of this support and resistance zone and starts to make a move so we isolate the wave count with our software here and the software automatically labels the Elliott wave count so let's zoom in a little bit here. Okay, so very briefly, the filters that give us the signals are the wave four pullback into our probability zone. Now the probability zones are green, amber, and red. In this case, it's just touched in the green zone. That's an eight. If it finds support there and moves away, it's 85% probability it's going to go on and make that new wave five high into our automated target zones here, around about $72. Next is the 535 oscillator. The oscillator down here has pulled back between 90 and 140. Fantastic. And also the stochastic has crossed over in the oversold zone. So there's those three. Uh, initial filters that we get but now it's not appeared on our spreadsheet today because it's moved a certain percentage away from that wave four now our members would have seen um, this appear shack on the daily time frame last week in our spreadsheets and it should be on their watch list they should be getting ready for the move away from this support level from this wave four and yesterday had a really strong day solid bar reasonable volume not massive um, but it, it was good you know it was a good move away so now then we start to look for our entry strategy it's been on our watch list for a few days a few trading days now 
and now we're ready to go so we got we closed near the high yesterday so obviously our entry has to be above the high of yesterday and also outside the 64 moving average high this is the green moving average on our indicator suite here which we use for entry strategies the green is for for long entry strategies the red will be for shorts so we've got an entry here today at 6613 above the whole 66 dollar mark above the high of yesterday and outside the 64 moving average the the stop loss is below the wave four low so we're around about 62.55 on the stop loss and the targets around $72 so we've got a 1 to 1.6 maybe 1 to 1.8 into there we have to be careful with Shaq it may gap up a little bit today but we've got a little room to play with the risk to reward there the target zone goes all the way up to $73 so if we gap up you know be below 66.50 we've still got a decent risk reward to enter into that trade so that's what we're looking for today on Shack on the daily time frame. Potential long swing trade. It's been on our watch list on our downloadable spreadsheets from members area for the last few days. Uh, it's now moved away from that wave for low. Good solid day yesterday. Let's see if we can enter today at 66.13. So that's it for today. Have a great trading day and I'll speak to you all tomorrow.